Welcome to Combat Wing Chun. I am Sifu David. In our live class today on Sundays, we have our live class show. So we have my assistant instructor, Will Boswell, Boswell, sorry, from Detroit. And we're going to show you some defenses against a hand grab. Okay, so this video is how to defend against a wrist grab, part two. So stay tuned. And yes, we are giving away these free DVDs, Accelerated Wing Chun System Quick Start DVD. Normally retailing for 129 bucks, but enter the contest. All you need to do is to subscribe, click the notification bell, and like and comment on this video, and you'll enter automatically into the draw. Every week, we're gonna give away a free video, so good luck. Welcome back, we're gonna do the wrist grab. So remember, we did the wrist grab with this and with both hands last time. Well, now we're gonna do wrist grab like this, he's grabbing over, and also with two hands. All right, so let's just show you with one hand first. Let's just do one hand. So, this is very common in the street uh, against women. Okay, the man comes up and say, hey, come with me. Mm -hmm. Or, give me your money or something like that. They grab your wrist. Okay, so very simple. Here you grab, and all you have to do is make your hand into a blade and go straight up to your ear like this. Make your hand to a blade and go straight up to your ear. So, you go from the front, it's just a like hand in the blade, and go straight up. Make sure that the elbow does not come up and the shoulder does not come up. Keep your shoulder low, keep your elbow low, and just move just your hand if you can, straight up to your ear. If it's this hand, same thing, just move it up to your ear, straight up, just like a robot. Okay? So he's grabbing, and then just move it to my ear. Okay? And he can grab very hard, he's stronger than me, he's got, he's got really strong grip, this guy. Okay? He's going hard, and I'm just moving my hand, touching my ear, and then and you have you grab onto it. It's hard to grab on, right? Yeah. So this is a leverage that you create with your structure of your body going against just this thumb. That's why it's, it's having a hard time getting the grip. Okay. So that's the first technique. He grabs and then do this. He grabs this one, touch my ear. Okay. So that's one one variation. Second variation is just go diagonally to touch the other ear. Okay. So you can grab and touch the other ear. This one, touch the other ear. See? Very simple. All right? So, if you want to practice this, you get good at that, and then you just have to close your eyes and do it. So, you can grab either hand. Eyes are closed, and I just learn to react to it based on just touch, without even thinking, and without anticipating what's going to happen. Okay? So, right now, I can touch it straight to my ear, or you can do diagonally. Huh? Diagonally. Notice that I am not trying to yank it back. That's too much movement. I'm trying to keep as little movement as possible and just move my hand if possible. Okay, so that's the drill that you can do. So now we're gonna do add another TD, which is just a punch or a strike to go along with the wrist grab. So remember we did this, but well, why not why not add a punch along with it or a palm strike? Okay? Because if he you can't get him to lose his grip here, boom, that's gonna help him lose the grip. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm simulating it by hitting his chest. But in reality, you want to go eyes or just palm to the face. Okay, so the drill would be here. He grabs you and then combine it at the same time. Okay, or he grabs this one, combine it at the same time. Okay, so that's going straight up. All I'm doing is boom or boom. Okay, now the diagonal one is similar. I go this way and then I chop down. <laughs> okay. So I go diagonal and then it's a perfect place to chop to the neck. Okay, just be careful in training. Chop the chest just for training. Boom. Chop. Chop. Okay. Chop. Okay, in reality it's gonna go down on the neck diagonally like this. And then you run. Okay. So the drill you can do. Bam. And then, Chop, punch, run away. Chop, punch, run away. Chop, chop, run away. Chop, chop, run away. Okay, so those are two techniques against the single hand over top grab. We did the vertical rise and diagonal rise and how to follow up with that. All right, so the final technique on how to defend against hand grabs when he grabs close to your wrist at the same time. All right, so what we want to do is you want to scoop him in like this. Number one, two, and three. So let me show you very slowly. So you want to do scoop 
Let's say you want to scoop up some water to drink. You want to scoop up some water to drink from the lake. Okay? So you scoop halfway, then you're going to grab his arm, do this, uh, do the do the single thing that we did in the last one, and then we're gonna strike. So I'm scooping up water to drink. Now he's already in a weak position. You see his hands bending backwards like that. So from here, I want to grab his wrist here, or grab his forearm here, while this one strips out just like we did in the last one. So here, I'm doing what we just did last one, strip out here. Notice that now I have both of his hands grabbed with one hand. I'm grabbing his hand here, and he, because his instinct is to grab on, he doesn't let go, all right? So at the same time, now I've got to control both hands with one hand, where I can go palm, palm, palm my leg until he lets go. Okay, most likely he's gonna let go if he's getting smacked in the face. Okay, so then you run. Okay, so nice and slow. He grabs both hands, scoop up water, grab one arm, one forearm with the other hand. So now you have control of both hands. Now what you don't want to do is push all the way out there because this, then he lets go of this hand. He's gonna punch you with that hand. So you don't want to grab again. You don't want to push it up because now he's gonna have that arm loose. And punch with the hand. So you just want to move just enough so that it gets control of this. Okay. Now another advanced version of this is move in and now see I trap his arm and then use my elbow to trap his arm and then he can't even get that arm up. Bam, 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 and then run away. Okay. So you do that too. Okay. Use your elbow to step in and trap his arm with your elbow. Bam, bam, punch the ball, bam, run away. Okay. So if you do it fast, it's just this. Okay. Like that. Okay, nice and slow. Slow, boom, trap, bam, bam. Slow, trap. Okay, run away. Okay, so those are the three techniques of how to deal with wrist grabs from the top. We did the single and one double. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed that video. If you like this video, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to this channel and click this, um, the bell next to the subscribe button so that you get all the instant notification and emails immediately whenever we release a new lesson. So train hard, train safe. Until next time, this is Seafood Data.